Welcome to Mr. Hansen Math Videos. Today we're going to review graphing on the coordinate plane. Here we go. First of all, we have our sheet of graph paper and we're going to label our units. We have an x-axis and a y-axis. That enables us to have position from left to right and position up and down. Since we're graphing on a piece of paper which is two-dimensional, those are our two dimensions. Again, the x-axis is going to go in the left-right direction. That's our distance left to right of our starting point. And then the y-axis goes up and down. That's going to be our distance either above or below our starting point. And I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. On this x-axis, which again we can call horizontal, we can call it left to right, or we can call it east-west, it goes in this direction, it's like having a number line. Your reference is always zero, right in the middle. Your positive numbers go to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. Like a regular number line, it's never ending. Of course, you're limited to the size of your graph paper. To the left of zero, we have the negative values. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, and so on. They keep going in that direction. Next, you have what's called your y-axis. The y-axis is vertical. It's up and down. It's north-south. However you'd like to think of it, it gives your position up and down. Starting from your reference point, which is again in zero, and like temperature or degrees above sea level, going up is a positive thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. Starting again at zero, going down is negative. Negative one units, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, and so on. Again, it's just like number lines. The x-axis is horizontal, left to right. The y-axis is vertical, up and down. Hopefully that makes sense. And again, this is going to allow us to locate points similar to, similarly to how you have longitude and latitude on a map. The first one we need to be concerned with is the origin. The origin is considered 0, 0. You always start in the x direction first, which is left to right, and then the y position, which is up and down. Zero, zero, you're really not going anywhere. The reason it's called the origin is the origin of something is where you start. The origin is right here, where the x and the y cross. That is zero, zero, your origin, right here. It's your starting point. You always start there first. It's your origin, or where you start, zero, comma, zero. With that in mind, let's begin plotting some points, some ordered pairs, and again, start the origin, you always move left to right first, and then you move up and down. How do you know whether to move left or right? Well, left is negative, right's positive. How do you know whether to move up or down? Up is positive, down is negative. Okay, we're going to take a look at this. Again, always start at the origin. Let's try this out. The first one we're going to try is 2 comma 4. 2 is in the x direction, 4 is in the y direction. Here we go. Start at your origin, we're going to go over to 2, and then up to 4. 2 on the x-axis, up 4 in the y-direction, we're right here. 2, comma, 4. That is 2, comma, 4. Sorry about that, 2, comma, 4 is right there. To the right 2 in the x-direction, on the x-axis, up to 4. Next, we have negative 3 comma negative 5. So we're going to go to negative 3 on the x and then to negative 5 on the y. Well, in the x direction, negative 3 is right here. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Now, where's negative 5? We went left, now we have to go up or down. Negative 5 is going to be down from there. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, right here. That is negative 3, negative 5. All right. Next, 4 comma negative 1. Again, it's always the x direction and then the y direction. 4 comma negative 1. Let's start at the origin. Let's find 4 on the x-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then negative 1. Negative 1 takes you down to a distance of negative 1 right there. 4 comma negative 1. Okay, so far so good. Wrapping up here. 3 comma 0 is a special one. Students get perplexed by this, but there's no reason to. X comma Y. 3 comma 0. Again, start at the origin. Left to right first in the X direction. Go to 3. 1, 2, 3. 
and a zero means you don't move up or down so you're stuck right here on the x-axis three comma zero right three and then you don't go up or down that is three comma zero and then finally the last one we're going to take a look at today is zero comma negative eight how is this going to work let's check it out zero comma negative eight it means in the x direction left to right start at zero okay you didn't move that's fine you located your position zero on the x-axis and now negative eight in the y direction stay at zero and go down to negative eight you are right here that is zero comma negative eight zero comma negative eight you don't move left or right go down to negative eight hopefully this re quick review helped again please feel free to review it again and best of luck thank you